I have a shit ton of fragrance videos that I had recorded, but they're not doing very well. The views are still in the single digits as opposed to the double digits that these videos get. I'm kind of leaving those in the back burner right now. I'm going to give, I'm going to give the people what they want. And what the 20 people that watch my videos want is the shelf tour. So I'm going to give the gays everything they want. Everything. Hello, friend, and welcome. I hope you're having a day. Today, we're going to look at my next shelf on the shelf tour. I've kind of, I haven't abandoned the Fragrance Sample Chronicles, but, uh, I don't know. Maybe it's the no audience thing, maybe it's depression, but I was kind of like, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to be the reason why. But anyway, let's look at this dusty ass shelf, shall we? We have O de Gaga, the fragrance of, of Gaga. She made this fragrance and honestly wasn't all that good. If I do say so myself, it was kind of okay. It's a fragrance of Gaga's I'm not really a huge fan of. I have a video that I filmed. It's not up. I don't know when or if it'll be up depending on audience engagement. I can talk about this if you want me to. And if not, then I'll just keep my opinions to myself. Next up is another fragrance. This is 360 Degrees Black by Perry Ellis for Men. It's not a very good one either. Why do I have these fragrances on my shelf? That's a really good question actually. If I don't like them, then why do I have things I don't like on display? We have a Sharpie, we have a pink pen, we have a kitty cat pen. We have a dusty, a very, very dusty treasure chest, but don't worry, guys. It's plastic. But inside, these are actual coins from Spain. They are different types of pesetas, different types of uh, different types of coins from Spain in a little plastic treasure chest. This treasure chest actually came from a toy ship that I had when I was a little tiny baby kid. I used to love playing with that stupid ship. It was so fun. I, of course, grew older and I donated the ship, but I, I had to keep the little treasure chest that came with the ship because I, I, I had to keep a little piece of my childhood with me, right? I had to remember that ship. And so I have the treasure chest with, uh, with the balloons. What is this? What is, what is this? It's a receipt from work. Oh, okay, this is actually a very interesting receipt from work. So this is an Uber receipt from back in the day when I was working in restaurants. This is actually in between the first time they closed and their final close. So this Uber receipt, the reason I kept it is because the code, right? Because every Uber order has a code, it has a name and then a, a code number. So this one was Genesis 8DCD8. It's a perfect palindrome, 8 D C. D8, so it mirrors itself. But then we looked at the time that it was put in and the time was 1221, another palindrome. So I was like, you know what? That is too fucking cool to just toss away. So I kept the receipt. A little bit of synchronicity there, right? It's, come on, it doesn't happen too often. And when it does, it should be remembered. The dustiest penny I've ever seen in my goddamn life. Look at this thing. It's from 1980, that's not why it's dusty. It's dusty because the shelf is dusty. Because I'm a dusty, crusty bitch. This is Midnight by Bath & Body Works. It is a deodorizing body spray. And I splash this on when I go work out so that I smell like pure butane. <laughs> it's a strong smell, but you know what? I release a strong smell. So I need something stronger to combat it. I don't wear it all the time, obviously. This isn't an all the time smell. And if I smell like Axe Spray, all the time. If I smell like butane all the time, I wouldn't want to be around me. And last but not least, we have a little tiny fragrance sample. This is, this is, what the fuck is this? This is Authenticity by, I think also Authenticity. 
it's another kind of bland smell. It's cute though for when I want to just smell like, you know, cash. It's a cash smell. So another little sample there. I like fragrance samples. I like I like bite-sized things. I like small little little articles of fragrance. I don't know why. I think it reminds me of the Titanic. We've got antique binoculars. Perhaps, if I do dare say, opera glasses. They actually look more like opera glasses than binoculars because, I mean, look at the ornate designs on them, right? This is ancient. This is actually from an antique shop. It was a local antique shop. It no longer exists. Sad face, it's been closed for years, actually. <laughs> I miss it, though. I do miss that antique shop. They had a lot of very fun knickknacks. Um, at a very at very good prices too. Very good prices. I, I miss that antique shop. It was right around the corner too, like five minutes away from me. I used to use these little notepads at work. This is from St. Jude's Children's Hospital. It is a research hospital for children with cancer. Primarily, I believe it is mainly cancer. I'm not sure if there's, I there might be more to St. Jude's than just cancer research but I'm pretty sure it's just cancer research. We do donate to St. Jude's in this house, but I no longer use the notepads because I only use them for work. Oh my God, why are there so many receipts in here? In case anybody ever says, I want to see the receipts. Bitch, I have the receipts, ho. Oh my God, more receipts? Trash, trash, I'm, I'm the, the trash, trash man. man. We have a rewards card for something. I think I've only ever seen one shop with this rewards card. I guess I'll put it in my wallet just in case I ever go back to that place. I don't even know if that place is still open. We have a money thing. It's a thing of money. Well, there was money in here once upon a time. This was in my uh, money collection. I had dollar bills in here. I had actually, um, I had different dollar bills from different places in the world. The only thing is the elastic on this. I mean, look at this. This is trash. This is trash. It's garbage. We have brown paper. Ew, it's dusty. I'm Ooh, bitch. We have a gay ass movie, LA Zombie. It is by Bruce LaBruce, and it is uh, stars Francois Sagat, my favorite gay adult film star. And this is all about zombies, and it's it's kind of sexy, but it's also kind of gross. And I love that. We have Swiss Arabian fragrance samples. It's a whole little box. These are concentrated perfume oils. And so, oh my God, these little vials, bitch, they are very strong, but they're also super hard to open. I don't think I would want a full bottle of any of these. So I'm glad I just have the sample set because that's probably gonna last me forever. We have this little case, which is for the lens that I have on my phone that is currently recording this video. So it's an Apple sticker that I got when I got my phone back in October. No, October, November, one of those two. Point is I got my phone, I got the the, the sticker and uh, it's been sitting here, I guess. You'll notice actually, there's only one sticker. The other sticker, I cut out this little piece and I put it on my laptop to cover the camera because I don't want anybody spying on me through my webcam. If you're gonna spy on me, at least use a good camera like my phone so that I look good. Don't use that shitty ass potato on my freaking screen that makes me look like some type of modern day internet demon. This is Olfactif. This is another fragrance sample set. This is the September box, and this is the video that I was working on. And uh, now I'm kind of like, shit, if nobody's watching my fragrance sample videos, why am I investing so much time on videos that nobody's gonna watch? So I have this here. If you want me to talk about it, sound off on the comment section below and I'll keep editing the video. Otherwise, it's just gonna sit there, I'm going to stagnate. I do like these samples though. I really do. Oh, another gay ass movie. Auto or Up With Dead People. This is another gay zombie movie. I have a lot of these. This one led me to Ellie Zombie. So there's that. I'm actually thinking of talking about these movies. I think that's something that people will actually want to see. Movies, right? And gay movies. Not a lot of people talk about gay movies. Like the bad ones? Come on. There are a lot of bad ones. These are good bad. These are, these are peak trash. And I love, love trash but like good trash. There's good trash, there's bad trash. This is like camp. It's camp trash. We love camp trash. 
in this house. Oh my God, another freaking receipt. So this is a card. It came with my sample of Zaharoff. Um, I believe it was Signature Porom. And I have that one down here in this shelf. We'll get to that shelf, don't worry, BB. It's a pretty good fragrance, I gotta say. For, for what it is, it's a good fragrance. It's not bold, it's not like, bah, it's not bombastic. It's, it's good, it's good. Oh my God, another receipt. I have a rubber band. I have a rubber band. Oh my God, how many more receipts? <gasps> it's money. Oh my God, it's a check. Did I, did I cash this? I did. Okay. <laughs> it's uh it's one of it was my unemployment benefits because, you know, we're living in a pandemic. Oh no, I'm mooching off the government. Oh no, it's not like they've mooched off of me all my fucking life. We have fake money. This is fake Confederate currency. Confederate Why do I have this? I had gotten this at the uh at the antique shop too. Listen, I am not a confederate bitch. I do not support the confederacy. These are just really cool looking. <laughs> like they're fake money and they're made to like replicate the old money. And I think that's kind of cool. I do not think the confederacy is cool. I do not think the confederate states were cool or are cool. I don't think confederate flags are cool. Please burn them. I was actually probably thinking of using them as bookmarks knowing me they'll probably end up as bookmarks who wants the confederate states no one fucking racists that's who ah! fuck this is a little a little lens it's a lens clip with a little lens thing for my phone also for filming it's good for outdoor filming but since i'm in here in super dark lighting yikes right <laughs> let's uh Let's keep that over there. More coins. I don't know if this is more. This isn't marble. This can't be marble. I don't know what it is, but it's dusty. It's a shell. And there's coins in here, bitch. I have so many freaking coins. I had found this box full of coins in my safe. A couple months back, I finally got to open it and I found all these coins and I kind of like tried to redistribute them because I wanted to do something with them. I don't want to just have them rolling around in a bag. Um, the thing is, now they're kind of just all over the place, so... Uh. We have another fragrance sample. This one is Clean Reserve. It actually smells really, really good. I had filmed a little video for this one, too. If you want to see it, sound off. If you don't, it can stay in the annals of my hard drive. I like wearing this one after I shower. Because then I'm clean, and it's the smell of clean just... Woo! Oh my god, the IT ticket is still here. It's just making its way down the shelf. <laughs> and we have a red pen. So now, let's go ahead and take a look at the books. My sister gave me this one. The Ice Dragon by George R.R. R. Martin. I'm not really into Game of Thrones. I think she had accidentally bought two, so she gave me one. And I appreciate it, because I love books. But I'll probably read it, and maybe, maybe this will be my introduction to Game of Thrones. The End of Policing by Alex S. Vitale. I hope I pronounced that right. I have not read this one yet. I'm getting to it though. We need this. We really need this. White Rage by Carol Anderson. Also on my list to read after I'm done reading all the books I'm currently reading. We're seeing a lot of this. And if you are white and you feel white rage just from seeing the title White Rage, read the book. Read, my friend. All I'm asking you to do is read. And if you are a black American or a black citizen of the world, I was about to say universe, but also, yeah, or a person of color, you are loved and your life matters. And uh, I love you and I hope you're doing well. The Sonnets, Poems of Love by William Shakespeare. I love this little book. I love Shakespeare's sonnets, period. But this little book is just super, super freaking cute. It has a little, little dingle dangle. Another poetry book, All of It Is You by Nico Tortorella. This is a pretty nice book to read, I gotta say. This was very, very like awakening. This was very awakening and I really liked it. I recommend it. If you have not read it, read it for yourself. I love the, the imagery on it as well. So one thing I like about this particular shelf is that all the books are the same size. Same size, or at least extremely close to the same size. I like that. For now, at least, I like that. I'm planning on changing 
the shelves around a lot. And uh, if the series continues, you'll see what I mean. We've got Through a Glass Darkly by Sonia Raizis. I have not read this, mainly because if you open it and you look through the pages, first of all, it's an old book. This is like a little treasure, but also the pages are still like stuck together. So it's, it's so curious. I'm sure this was a uh, publishing thing, but this book is from the year 1932. It's in a weird little plastic thing. I kind of want to just preserve it the way it is. It's a little antique that I bought from a bookshop not too far from me. Improvisation. Improvisation. Oh my God. <gasps> this, okay. Wow. Look at the... Look at the Barnes and Noble price tag on this. This was $2.25 oh my god. This belonged to my director's friend who I had helped clean out her house and I ended up with the thing. This is my favorite book in my collection. If on a winter's night a traveler. And you know what? I think I'm going to reread it this year. I adore this book. Let me just, let me flip through the pages real quick so you can see how much I annotated this shit. I don't know if you could see it or not, but there, it's definitely full of annotations. And I know that when I reread it, I'm going to keep on annotating in it. I love, love this book. I read this book while um, She Loves Me was going on, which I had uh, mentioned in my last shelf. Last shelf? I think. I also have this one by Italo Calvino, which is collection of sand. These are essays. I have not read this one though. Next up, we have one more thing, stories and other stories by BJ Novak. If you don't know who BJ Novak is, um, how dare you? He was in The Office. He was in Inglorious Bastards. Cool dude. His stories are so fun to read. I haven't finished the book. I've been saving it and savoring it. I love these stories though. Please, 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 please do yourself a favor. If you buy any book this year, make it this one. It's so fucking cute. The stories are fresh. Do you believe in leaf after love? The little tiny, tiny nugget of internet history. It's a Tumblr book by Caden Lovelace. Caden, if you're watching this, violet-rot.tumblr.com. They, um, yeah, this was a, this was a, a, it's a book full of absolute garbage. Um, it's a work of art and I love it. There's no, there's no story here. There's no plot. There's nothing. There's nothing. This is a book about nothing and I love it. I've read half of it. Next up, we have The Stranger by Albert Camus. A very mind fucking book. At least it fucked my mind. I don't know. Maybe I'm just a basic bitch, but it fucked my mind. Royally. Walk Through Walls by Marina Abramovich. I love this book. I love this book. No matter what your opinion about Marina Abramovich may be, she has lived quite a life. <laughs> quite a life. And reading about that life, wow. I mean, holy shit. I might revisit this book but I might not. A Field Guide to Lucid Dreaming, Mastering the Art of Oneronautics. Every time I read this book, I have a lucid dream. Like I dream lucidly. This book really helps, just reading it, even if you don't believe it. Ooh, practical sigil magic for the times when you need to perform practical sigil magic. Moon Spells, How to Use the Phases of the Moon. The Book of Spells. The Book of Spells. The Lost Tarot of Nostradamus. This is a uh, deck, a, a tarot deck, specific tarot deck, and it's a pretty cool tarot deck. That's the booklet for the tarot deck. How to use your deck of 1000 spreads. Another booklet for another deck. Magpie Murders by Anthony Horowitz. Have not read it. I think I bought this this year. No, I bought it last year. I haven't read it. This feels like a book club book to me for some reason, even though I'm not part of a book club. A prized possession of mine, Supermarket by Bobby Hall, AKA Logic. I decorated this with um, stickers, but the fun part is I went to his concert and he signed it. I didn't see him sign it. So for all I know, somebody backstage just wrote Logic on it, but I'm just gonna trust it because the lady that I went with, okay, so I was doing a show at this little theater. One of the actresses of the show said, do you know who Logic is? And I was like, well, yeah, I have his book. 
and she said, there's a concert coming up, and my son is his manager. And I have an extra ticket. Do you want to go? And I said, sure. So I took my book just in case, and then he was there. I, it took my book just to, like, be, it be in the same presence as the author, right? Because that's never really happened for me. And then the son, who was his manager, took it backstage and brought it back and it was signed. That's all I know, and honestly, that's all I care about. <laughs> Gravity, a novel by Robert M. Drake. This one's not signed, and I have not read it. Really? A New Earth, Awakening to Your Life's Purpose by Eckhart Tolle. I bought this at a Goodwill. Astral travel for beginners, as you can see, I'm very into leaving my body. Strange Weather by Joe Hill. I read one of these four novels, and it was, it was all right. It felt a little heavy-handed with the whole, like, Back in my day, bullshit, like, we get it, Joe Hill, you were born an 84-year-old man. Tess of the D'Urbervilles by Thomas Hardy. Have not read it, but I will at some point in my existence. Jude the Obscure, also by Thomas Hardy. I, uh, I'm a little hardy for Thomas Hardy. Don Quixote by Miguel de Cervantes, another classic that I cannot wait to read. I want to read the Spanish one. But honestly, I can't find a pretty version of the Spanish Don Quixote. That's not like an 1800s antique that I would not read or dare to touch. So honestly, I'm just gonna have to make do with the damn English version. I think I have the Spanish version as an ebook. The Voyage Out by Virginia Woolf. I have not read this. The Strange Library by Haruki Murakami. What a gorgeous book. This story is told through art and it's just magnificent. Next we have my fave fucking dust. Stop. My favorite book by Haruki Murakami, 1Q84. I'm definitely gonna reread this one at some point in my life. Him by Pierre Gianti. I, did I read this one? I don't think I've read this one. I think I read, I know I read her and her volume two. I don't think I've read him. Hmm. Flux by Orion Carlotto. I love the artwork on this. I haven't read it yet, but I will eventually. The Road Between by Courtney Peppernell. I have not read this. Chaos Theory by Robert M. Drake. Beautiful Chaos by Robert M. Drake. Moon Theory by Robert M. Drake. Black Butterfly by Robert M. Drake. Star Theory by Robert M. Drake. Light Theory by Robert M. Drake. We hope this reaches you in time. Ideas, Poetry, and Prose by Samantha King Holmes and R.H. Sin. This was actually the uh, self-published version that was on Amazon, and I think now it's actually like published, published. Whiskey Mind, Sober Heart by Ra... R.H. Sin. I hope this reaches her too. I hope this reaches her in time. And this is also uh, like an Amazon published book. Her by Pierre Gianti, a signed copy. And her volume two, another autographed copy by Pierre Gianti. Next up we have my problematic stuff. It's Harry Potter. I don't care much for J.K. Rowling anymore because of her transphobia, but we have a Creatures. It's a little pop-up book. It's actually kind of very pretty. Oh my fucking god, we have the page to screen shit. I honestly, I'm a huge fan of Harry Potter. Not a fan of J.K. Rowling. <sighs> Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Deluxe Illustrated Edition. Anyway, uh, fuck J.K. Rowling and fuck her transphobia. Let's get this shelf clean and celebrate books. Thank you so much for watching. If you've made it this far, go ahead and leave a like on this video. Uh, leave a comment. What was your favorite item on the shelf? What was your least favorite item on the shelf? Mm, I know I have a few least favorite items and favorite items. Comment down below. If this is your first video of mine and you think it's a little too soon to subscribe, I completely understand. I've got plenty more videos to uh, explore on my channel. If this isn't your first rodeo, then go ahead and subscribe. There's plenty more videos to come, and I'm sure you want to know when they come out. So hit the bell notification as well so that you know the next time I have a video coming out. And uh, I hope to see you again real soon. Take care, stay safe, and uh, organize yourself.
Oh my God, the same Uber receipt, but this was like the original one, it's not the copy. Just to give you an idea. Stephen is typical of other candidates in the extent to which he slash she enjoys work that benefits others in some way. Genesis, if you are out there and you ordered the bacon biscuits, he slash she is moderately happy to help out others and doesn't mind doing work that involves caring for other people. But it is not a strong source of motivation for the egg sarni with sausage, home fries, American cheese, and scrambled eggs. He slash she does not have a strong preference for working with others or working alone. Uh, French toast, uh, a veggie omelet with bacon biscuit and grits. Stephen is likely to be reasonably sociable at work and should get on fairly well with most people he slash she works with. And a half southern fried chicken with grits and blue cheese. That's show business for you, baby. Uh, you're magical and you are blessed. None of this makes any sense. 